guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dog. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with some old um, vintage photographs and I thought let's come along and kind of just make some little pieces of ephemera from them. Um, so I'm going to be using uh, the butterfly um, printables. So these are from my Bright Butterflies and I'm also probably going to use some of my bows because I think they would work quite nicely for this as well. We just kind of see um yeah i think we'll just kind of see how it pans out uh i've also got some of my street names and some of my labels but i'm not sure you know whether we're going to need all of those we'll kind of just yeah we're just going to play around and see you know how we get on as to what types of things that we might actually put in so aside from the you know the butterflies and the bows mainly are what we're going to be needing so um i was just rummaging through to check so what these are, these are just little tiny photographs. And I mean, I don't know quite how people used to purchase photographs, but you often used to get them in this tiny size. They're kind of like oh, three and a half inches by two and a half inches. Um, but what I thought that we could do is just make tiny little kind of fold out pieces and hinging them together just with the butterflies, which how pretty is that? And then the backs of them, obviously you've got them for journaling. Now, these have got a little bit of writing on them. Personally, I think that's really nice because it's in, you know, this person just happens to have this lovely handwriting. Um, also, from what I can see, I think this is probably pencil that this is written in anyway. So you could probably rub this out. Um, but I actually think that's quite a nice touch on the bottom. That one, I think, is in pen. Or perhaps it's all in pen. Yeah, maybe it is in pen. That's very hard to say. That one definitely looks like pen. That one I thought looked like pencil, but based on the fact that one's in pen, maybe that is too. Um, but yeah, basically, all I thought that we could do is just kind of like hinge them together with a butterfly and then you just fold them over as a little kind of foldy out little piece of ephemera. And I just thought that's a wonderful way to use some of your old vintage pieces. Now, obviously not everything's going to work great for this. These are fantastic because these are, you know, proper sort of flimsy photographs. I don't think this would be so great for cabinet cards, although having said that, you know, it would, it, it would work okay. The reason I'm saying I don't think it would be quite so good is because obviously my butterfly is going to be kind of paper thickness and cabinet cards obviously are much thicker. So straight away, you're going to have a bit of a disparity between what's hinging them together and the thickness of them. And also, obviously, the cabinet cards often have that gorgeous back to them, don't they? So it wouldn't really necessarily be journable, journalable, journalable on there. Um, you know, hey, that being said, it, it might be OK. So, yeah, let's just kind of get on and see how we. Um, well, yeah, let's just see how we get on. So I'm going to glue the um, butterfly down now. I'm going to use my hot glue because, you know, and I say I, this all the time, but just it's quick and it's easy. So what I'm going to do is just glue it down to this photograph first and then try and line my photographs up sort of hopefully perfectly. Oh, as perfectly as I possibly can anyway. Oh my goodness. And then you just get a few seconds with the hot glue that you can kind of move around. So like that. And then what you've got is obviously your hinge with the butterfly, like that. And then what you can do is on the inside, take another butterfly. Now, obviously it doesn't really even have to be the same one because you can't really see like through there, if that makes sense. So all I'm going to do is take my other butterfly and now pop that down just where that hinged piece is on the inside like that just so you've got you know a bit more kind of a durable piece I mean I have to say my butterfly has cracked there I think that's because I mucked it up by putting the hot glue on there so yeah this one has not gone brilliantly um in fact I might just try and pull it off and start again oh I've now got I've got nail varnish on here Oh, I've only just painted my nails, but I thought they were dry enough. So let me just peel this butterfly off. Oh, more nail varnish going on. Sorry, this is now... I should always try and do um, a practice one first. Right, let's try another one. So I need quite a big one to obviously cover up that, you know, that gluey mess. 
Okay, so right, lesson learnt. So I'm not going to put my glue where the actual fold will be, if you see what I mean, because I think that's what caused the problem. So I'm going to leave the body of the butterfly kind of without glue, like that. So I'm just gluing on the wings, really. And then hopefully that's not going to crack when I fold that. So, yep, if you're using hot glue, that's a bit of a tip there. But isn't this just so pretty? And then, of course, you can fold it over. And that's your little hinge there. Aren't they just so cute? And, you know, like I say, you've then got the lovely journaling space inside. You know, they're really pretty on the outside. They're just they're just something different, aren't they? So I mean, you could add you could add extra pages. Now, for some reason, I hadn't really noticed, but these photographs aren't actually equal sizes. So the back is overhanging by you know a couple of millimeters. Again, that doesn't bother me. I think that's fine. Um, you know, because that's just how the photos were. So I don't think it's a really you know a big deal. But you know, you may prefer to obviously check that your photos are the same size. But yeah, really super cute piece, isn't it? So let's just take a couple more. So I've got here um, a couple of portrait ones instead of the landscape. So again, we'll put them next to each other and just put in a couple of butterflies. Uh, just having a look. I wonder if I've got any other colour ones, Adam. Mm. Oh, they're mainly... Um, yeah, they're mainly kind of browns and neutrally colours, but that's fine. Let's do this one with this um, orangey coloured one. So again, just kind of lining them up, you know, just so they're roughly next to each other. And again, just put in my glue, avoiding that crease. Now I've learnt my lesson. So just on the actual winged parts themselves. Oops, pop that down again. Squish them in together manoeuvre your butterfly around I mean obviously if you use wet glue then you're going to have more time for moving it around the reason I haven't used wet glue is because the photographs are obviously quite glossy so I'm thinking the wet glue would be um not problematic but you know would be quite time consuming it wouldn't want to stick on there straight away it would take a little while so that's why I haven't used the wet glue so just take my next one, again, minding out for that centre part and just pop that down like that. Okie dokie. So aren't they just so cute? And, you know, just give it a couple of seconds, obviously, for that glue to dry and then just obviously bend them over in the middle there. Aren't they just so gorgeous? I mean, you could... You could put another butterfly on. So should we try another one? But actually have like maybe another butterfly in the top part. So let's just take another one here. So if we take this. Uh, this one might not be ideal actually. Probably could have or could do with a portrait one if I'm doing... Uh, oh, would you believe I haven't got any portrait ones? Uh, I've got some more in here, so hold on. Right. Some of these are really, really nice pictures, aren't they? So I just want to pick a couple that I think, well, you know, they go quite nicely. I mean, that's quite a nice one, actually, in that one. Let's just double check. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go for these. Oh, I said about a portrait one, didn't I? Yeah, and straight away I've forgotten what I was looking for and picked a couple more um, landscape ones. It's because I'm trying to hoard. Did you notice there were a couple there that were portrait with this car? And of course I'm trying to hoard them because they're really, really nice, aren't they? Sorry, I just need to blow my nose a little bit. It's, it's hay fever season and so... It's, um, yeah, a little bit problematic. Anyway, right, yeah, I'm trying to hoard the um, car, the car ones, because I really like them. So I'm wondering if we could have like a couple of, a 
couple of hinged bits. I mean, it probably would be better if they were the same. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Now, I have to say, I did notice that my butterfly has cracked here again. So, unfortunately, you know, I'm not quite sure why this is happening, whether it's because I've used the um, hot glue, but it's very annoying. So, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to fold my butterfly first because that might make a difference. I'm hoping that's going to make a difference to its ability to kind of glue down. So let's take the big one. Like that, okay. Mm, my goodness me. My photographs are not really sitting comfortably together, are they? Right, okay. So like that. And then the smaller one, have we folded that in half? Yeah, we did. Put that one at the top. Okay, oops. Like that, ooh, like that. Okay, so that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Sorry, just have to blow my nose again. Honestly, this hay fever is so, um, you know, so bad today. I mean, to be fair, it's been actually not too bad this year so far. So, you know, I can't really complain. But yeah, today it's very bad for some reason. Right, so I'm thinking this butterfly. I mean, we could even put this butterfly on oh, no. Well, definitely they have gone much better um, from not having the, you know, initial fold kind of once they've been stuck down, if you see what I mean. So I think that is better. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. So that one, I might just not even have um, another hinge down here because actually it's got quite a lot now holding it together because it's got these two and it's got this one. But isn't that just so cute? And then, like I say, I mean, you could even add some extra pages in here if you wanted. Let's just bring in a couple of pages and just see how that would be. I've just got some kind of like coffee dyed scraps here. I mean, I'm thinking you could go to the sewing machine and actually stitch this down. Or, I mean, you could kind of just make it like a bit of a flippy pad or something if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, it may be a little bit too much of a vulnerable point to actually attach it to those butterflies. So perhaps it's better without the extra pages. But I mean, to be honest, they're gorgeous just as they are. And, you know, I don't think they even really need any extra pages. So, yeah, definitely I would think or I would say the folding in the first place is probably better. So let's do another one. And the other thing that I thought we could use is the bows, which I thought would look really lovely on here. So maybe that one's going to be a bit too big. Okay. Let's take this. Right, okay. So I'm thinking maybe that duck egg blue one, what do you reckon? That's a nice one to use. So we just cut this down. Oops. to make and you know I don't know about you guys but I've got quite a few of these little photographs that you know I mean of course you can just put them into a journal as they are you know that's absolutely fine and they look lovely like that but I thought this was just a nice little twist on them and something a bit different to do with them and I mean you could do this with your postcards as well I mean the reason obviously I think that this lends itself perfectly is because these photographs are very tiny in size so the proportions kind of work really well with these butterflies. But if you had postcards, you know, 
you could probably get away with using, you know, like maybe a few butterflies or something like that. That would perhaps kind of balance it out and make it work better. Now, I was going to have this hanging off at the bottom, but I'm not really too sure whether that's going to create enough of a hinge. So I think I'm going to put it at the top. Now, again, what I've done is I've created the fold already. Oops, and actually I just realised I folded it the wrong way because, of course, it needs to go that way. Right, so again, glue this down. Not going over the folded line. Like that. Oh my goodness, this is so fiddly. So, like that. I mean, they don't have to be perfectly lined up, obviously. You know, just just roughly somewhere, somewhere roughly in the, uh, you know, vicinity of the other one. Okay. So, that's those. And then on the back of this one, I've just got... Uh, let me take this one on here which is also duck egg blue. So we're just kind of keeping with that duck egg blue theme. Okay. Right, and just again fold that over. And now this is quite small, this piece, to be, you know, offering much in the way of support as the hinge, but it's fine. So I'm just going to, again, just glue this down, minding out for the folded part. And that will just go on there, like that. Okay. Like that. How cute are they? There we go. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And then I did bring along the labels and the street names because I did just wonder whether we might want to have any labels or street names on these. I don't know whether we do, but for instance, this one, obviously, because we've gone with that duck egg colour. We've got these printed in this small size. Okay, so this is um, my label set. I think this is label set number two. Um, yeah, I do apologise if I can't quite remember. I think it is label set number two. Which you do get the labels, you get kind of full sheet size, you get the half size, and then you get these, which are like the quarter size. So hopefully you've got then a really good range for all different sort of projects. So for instance here, we can just put that label on the front. Just, you know, gives it a bit more a bit more interest really. So like that. And like that. So I mean this one again is kind of out of alignment. Um but you know that's fine, I don't mind that. Isn't it cute? Love that one. Right. I'm now thinking we need to bring that first one, uh, not the first one, the second one back in, you know, where I've cracked that butterfly because, you know, of course I can't now leave that like that. So let's just peel this butterfly back off. Okay. Ooh. Trying to get my, um, you know, get to the hot glue as well to try and peel that off as well, but. Well, I'm not having a lot of success with that. So, right, let's just peel the butterfly off instead. Okay, right. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Right. Is going on here sorry I'm really making a not very good job of this but anyway I've <laughs> I just wanted to peel it off and make sure it kind of came off properly rather than have half of it 
still on there. I'm so sorry, I'm just having to blow my nose yet again. Oh, honestly, it's just really bad. Uh, so I might mix this one with a bow. So obviously we've got the whoops, butterfly on the inside, which looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So I'm thinking on the outside, we could just mix that one with a bow. So if I just take this brown bow and just cut this one out. Yeah, I mean, the bows, they're a little bit similar to the butterflies in terms of shape, aren't they? So I just thought they would actually work really quite nicely, you know, in a very similar way that the butterflies do in that, you know, where the butterfly wings kind of hold on to each photograph, the each side of the bow kind of holds on to each one of the photographs. So, right, let's just fold that in half there. Like that. Okie dokie. Oh, now I've got, now I've got the, uh, oh dear. Right, let's try, try again to peel this off and try not to ruin too much of the photograph itself. Easier said than done. Right, okay. Let's hope that I can cover that up, most of it anyway. Yeah, okay. So that looks pretty, doesn't it? And actually, let's just try a street name on there, shall we? I mean, it might look good, it might not. I'm not sure. I haven't obviously tried them, but I thought, well, they're quite cute, aren't they? And, um, you know, they might just go quite nicely on here. It might be a bit black because the photo obviously is a sort of sepia tone. Just try it. Okay. Oh, we could have it up there. What do you think? Um, yeah, I quite like it up there. So again, just going to glue the bow down sort of either side of the, the center. So like that, okay. And then the Peterson Muse, little name, just going to ink it up here at the back. Just because obviously it's going to overhang, so I don't want the back to look really glaringly white. So just like that, okie dokie. There we go. How cute does that look? Super cute, isn't it? So we've got the butterfly on the inside, but the bow on the outside, which, yeah, I mean, they look lovely, don't they? So, yeah, that's those. Um, should we do one more? I'll just see, see what other photographs I've got here. Um... Have I got any more that would be the same? I don't think I have without obviously using those ones that I wanted to obviously hoard with the car. Why I'm trying to hoard these, I have no idea, but I just really, really, really like them. Um, so yeah, I just don't want to use them. I've got these two, so let's just use those. Okay, let's get those out of the way. So let's just take these two. Okie dokie, and um, should we use a, <clears throat> maybe this bow up here. Actually, just before I do that, I have got some butterflies here from the Junk Journal Basics kit. <clears throat> Let's just see whether, Oh, again, these are printed on the um, half size version and probably I should have printed them on the big size version for this project. Oh dear. You know, like I say all the time, we have all these supplies and invariably never quite the thing that we need, do we? Okay. Calm that one down. Yeah. Right, if 
fold that in half like that because of course that's where the fold is going to be and yeah let's just have it like that and then should we try a label on there as well I don't know whether um, whether I've got one that's quite ideal or hmm, I was just wondering whether we could have a butterfly on here as well I don't know whether that might be kind of like too much but let's just try so I'll just take this one which obviously I've got quite a neutral looking bow, so let's just take this quite a neutral looking butterfly. Just see. Yeah, they're really fun to make. So um, yeah, if you've got some kind of old photographs and things that you're just wondering what to do with, I think these are quite a nice little project. And um, yeah, just something a little bit different, you know, a different way to use them, I suppose. So, oops. My goodness, I have made such a terrible job of cutting this butterfly out. I don't know what's going on. Oh, he's barely resembling a butterfly anymore. Ah. Just have a look. Oh, my goodness, what's going on? Right, let me get that bow stuck down because otherwise, obviously, my photographs keep moving. So. Just get the butterfly, uh, the, the bow stuck down. Just will make it slightly easier to actually use then. Okay. Like that. Okay, so that then folds in the middle and then, I mean, we could maybe put that butterfly over the bow. It's rather sweet, isn't it? So again, it would have to obviously fold with the bow. But I think that's quite nice. So, yeah, let's just pop that on there. So, like that. How cute does that look? And then, of course, on the inside, we can just put Perhaps another bow on there. So again, just keeping it kind of neutral. Let's just take this one. Okay. You know, that you could then put labels on the inside, all sorts of different things that you could do with these. You know, you could put some lace on them. Anything really, but I mean, I just thought as a first sort of play around, then these are you know, these are really nice. I think just kept simple like this. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying that this is an exhaustive list of what we could do, but I think they're pretty nice just like this anyway, without even adding anything else to them. So, like that. Okie dokie. There we go. How gorgeous is that? So, yeah, let's just pull in the ones that we've done. Oh, the other thing I've just spotted, I had these postage stamps um, sat on my desk. And, yeah, these must be obviously left over here from another project. So now I'm just thinking the other thing that would look really cute on these is a postage stamp. Maybe not that colour one. Let's see if I've got a more neutral, more neutral kind of colour. Get rid of these. Put these back in my blue pot. Okay, and let's have a look. Uh, okay. Mm. I don't know what's going on with this pot. I'm not even too sure what colour what colour it was meant to be. I think it was supposed to be kind of neutrals, but hmm. maybe if you could call that is that's a massive stamp for some reason. Have you ever noticed how yeah some stamps are really huge aren't they compared to others? Oh that's quite a small one. Quite small and quite neutral. 
So yeah, that one's quite a good one to use on there. So again, just because this is going on to that photograph, I'm just going to use the hot glue. I know that's complete and utter overkill for just a postage stamp, but just because, you know, I don't want it sliding around there with the wet glue, which, you know, it would stick, I'm sure, but it would just take a few minutes. So, you know, I just want to ensure that it's actually glued down because I'm doing obviously a video. And then, of course, what I could do is go over with my postmark stamp, which I've got here. My black stays on. Oops, nearly stamped it upside down. I mean, of course, they do sometimes, don't they? You sometimes do get um, post that's been stamped upside down, so it's not really the end of the world, but better if it's the right way up, I suppose, isn't it? So how cute does that look? You know, it's just got a bit more detail with the postage stamp and the postmark um, thing there, but how gorgeous is that? So, of course, then you can just, you know, journal inside and just, you know, tuck that into a pocket. So the ones that we've done are obviously these ones. We did the one with the two, two butterflies there. And obviously at the moment, they're kind of wanting to spring open. Once they've obviously been tucked into a pocket, they're going to hold closed, you know, a lot better. So, you know, don't be kind of put off and think, oh, well, they're not really shut in. It's just because obviously they're, you know, they're new at closing, if you see what I mean. Once they're actually, you know, tucked into a pocket or paper clipped onto a page or anything, then they're going to be actually, you know, absolutely fine. So, yeah, I hope that you like them. I just thought they were something really super fun to do with some of our old um, vintage photographs. And, yeah, have fun if you decide to make some. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.